on behalf of sports authority of india and boxing federation of india sir i welcome my guest today to this inaugural session of e learning in course development program sir we have uh, mr ajay he is president of boxing federation of india we have got mr rk sanchethi he is the executive director of boxing federation of india and we have our worthy director general mr sandeep pradhan here sir and it's a overwhelming response what we have seen here last 20 minutes 227 have registered and i think it is going to further increase today we have all joined this session in this tough time we are currently facing to maximize our time and devote our time towards course development program and i must thank the directions and the guidance of our dg that he initiated this program for 16 sports today and with the help of boxing federation of india we have got a huge response here sir not taking much time sir i would like to request our president shri ajay to address the participants and to motivate them with his key points on this e learning through uh, zoom and also i would like to request mr sanchethi to give his views on this sir thank you so much over to our president sir mr ajay sir a very very warm welcome to all of you uh, and uh, uh, dg sir mr pradhan uh, i am especially grateful that you are here uh, in this call uh, you know this is a this is a fantastic initiative uh, of uh, sports authority of india and the boxing federation of india uh, i am told that uh, we are conducting 30 classes 30 such uh, coach seminars uh, every single day from now on for the next 30 days uh, and uh, the classes will be will be taken by our performance director uh, uh, santiago as well as by uh, our uh, uh, you know uh, the best coaches that we have our strength and conditioning experts uh, and others uh, in addition to this uh, we are also conducting sports science classes which are uh, tomorrow uh, at 11:30 in the morning uh, and uh, you know this is uh, i think that this is a wonderful way to uh, spend the time that we have during lockdown uh, to exchange information to impart information uh, and to become Uh, better coaches better boxers uh, and uh, uh, ensure that uh, this time is being used uh, productively uh, as you know boxing has come a very long way in the last two or three years all of you have contributed greatly to the sport of boxing uh, from a, a situation where uh, we could not even box uh, under our own flag uh, anywhere around the world today we are a recognized leader in the space of boxing uh, and uh, मतलब आज हमारी जो रेपुटेशन है बॉक्सिंग में दुनिया के टॉप पाँच छः देशों में हम गिने जाते हैं और जैसे आप लोग सब जानते हैं कि ओलंपिक्स जो टोक्यो ओलंपिक जो अब थोड़ा डेफर हो गया है अगले वर्ष के लिए उसमें हमारे तेरह कैटेगरीज में से कैटेगरी में बॉक्सर ऑलरेडी क्वालिफाई हो चुके हैं और हमारी पूरी आशा है कि बाकी चार कैटेगरी में भी फरवरी में जब ये वर्ल्ड क्वालिफायर होगा तो कम से कम दो और तीन दो या तीन बॉक्सर हम और क्वालिफाई करेंगे तो इस समय बॉक्सिंग का जो महत्व है और बॉक्सिंग की रेपुटेशन है वो कभी भी भारत का जो स्तर है इससे ऊंचा नहीं रहा लेकिन हमें तब तक रेस्ट नहीं करना जब तक हम हम दुनिया के सबसे बड़े बॉक्सिंग नेशन ना बन जाए और ओलंपिक मेडल्स इतनी मात्रा में ओलंपिक मेडल्स मिलने चाहिए तभी हमारा सक्सेस होगा और इसके लिए बहुत आवश्यक है कि आप लोग जो कोचेज हैं जब तक हमारे अपने कोचेज नहीं होंगे जो क्वालिफाइड होंगे जो सशक्त नहीं होंगे तब तक इंडिया कैन नेवर बिकम अ बॉक्सिंग नेशन तो थ्रू प्रोग्राम ऑफ दिस शॉर्ट आई एम कॉन्फिडेंट दैट more and more uh, coaches will will add to their uh, knowledge base uh, and uh, and uh, 
bring up better and be- better boxers from the grassroots level so hum from the bfi side from size side we will keep trying uh, you know a big thank you to uh, sports authority authority of india for always supporting us and and uh, for uh, uh, enabling us to excel uh, the way that we are hum log sab ek team india hain we are all one team india and we have to make sure that uh, that we succeed together and jisko jisko kehte hain ki apne jhande ko hum hamesha upar pherayein aur bar bar hamara rashtragan international championships pe sunaya jaye usi ke liye hum sab log kaam kar rahe hain aur aap sab logon ka bahut bahut dhanyawad ki aap is tarah se participate kar rahe hain this function mein thank you thank you so much uh, mr ajay president boxing federation of india sir. now i will request none other than uh, sir rk sanjeeti who has had got outstanding contribution towards uh, in See, reserves just, in boxing i just we know uh, that already we have got nine boxers qualified for olympics and it is all his motivation and is doing in boxing federation and well. may i request uh, mr sanjeeti to take on the mic now sir uh, now i request uh, our dg sai see we have done but now I request dg sai to say few words shri ajay singh ji president boxing federation of india sachit ji hamare senior executive director upasthit sabhi coaches mujhe aaj atyant khushi hoti hai ho rahi hai is baat se कि हमने कुछ दिन पहले सबसे पहले मैंने मेरे दिमाग में जब ये आया था आइडिया तो मैंने अजय सिंह साहब को फोन किया था अजय सिंह साहब अभी हमारा ये लॉकडाउन चल रहा है तो इसमें हमें कोच एजुकेशन के लिए कुछ करना चाहिए उसके बाद में उन्होंने बेड़ा उठा के प्लानिंग किया कुछ वीडियोस वगैरह भी तैयार किए और फिर हम अपना कोई और प्रोग्राम में लग गए एंड देन वी थॉट कि अभी हम फेडरेशन को फॉर्मली रिक्वेस्ट करते हैं कि आप अपने अपने ई लर्निंग प्रोग्राम शुरू कीजिए मुझे ये खुशी हो रही है कि आज चौदह प्रोग्राम की एक लॉन्च हुए हैं दो प्रोग्राम हॉकी और बैडमिंटन का बीस तारीख को हो रहा है और ये टू सेवेंटी फाइव में करीब करीब हम हमारे जैसे पांच दस वन कोचिस को अगर निकाल भी दें तो चार हजार पांच सौ टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड कोचिज ने डिफरेंट फोर्टीन स्पोर्ट्स डिसिप्लिन में आज सेशन लिया है या ले रहे हैं ये आज का ये आखिरी सेशन है तो मैंने खुद ही इतना ही नहीं सोचा था कि हमारे कोचिज में इतना उत्साह होगा कि ये ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग सेशंस का फायदा उठाए मुझे सब और ज्यादा खुशी होती है कि फेडरेशन के साथ एक बार बात करने के बाद उन्होंने इतने हर एक फेडरेशन ने इतने अच्छे हमारे उनके परफॉर्मेंस डायरेक्टर या कोचिज चीफ कोचिज जो है या बेस्ट ट्रेनर्स को उन्होंने ये पूरे सेशन में लगाया है और पूरे इंडिया में अपने कोचिंग फ्रेटर्निटी में मैसेज पहुंचा है और साई का काम जो है वो एक एक प्लेटफॉर्म प्रोवाइड करना है जो हमने प्रोवाइड किया है और जैसे हर बार हमारी भूमिका रहती है कि जब जब जैसे जैसे सपोर्ट की जरूरत पड़ेगी वैसे वैसे सपोर्ट करेंगे स्पोर्ट्स साइंस के लिए आप सब जानते हैं कि एक कॉमन स्पोर्ट्स साइंस का मॉड्यूल शाम को पांच से छह भी हमने लॉन्च किया है सचिन साहब जो भी ये कोचिज है उनको भी आप वो उसका वेबिनार का आप एड्रेस दे दीजिए क्योंकि तो उसमें भी बड़े अच्छे स्पीकर सब ऑर्गेनाइज किए लेकिन साथ साथ में मैं इस बात को भी जानता हूँ और मानता भी हूँ कि गेम स्पेसिफिक स्पोर्ट्स साइंस के नॉलेज की भी अत्यंत आवश्यकता है मुझे लगता है कि अभी हमारे सभी के पास समय है कि हम ये सभी सेशन से काफी कुछ सीख सकते हैं अंत में ये मैं यही आवेदन निवेदन करना चाहूंगा कि मैं इसको एक शुरुआत समझता हूँ अजय सिंह साहब को मैं हमेशा ये कहता हूँ कि मैं उनसे आइडियाज लेता हूँ उनसे सीखता हूँ अलग अलग डायमेंशन जिस तरह से वो सोच सकते हैं उनको पूरे दुनिया का एक्सपीरियंस है तो मैं उनसे सीखता हूँ और सीखते रहूंगा तो अजय सिंह साहब मेरी एक विनती है आपको कि आप पूरे साल का ये कोचिज का अलग अलग ग्रेडेशन करके पूरे साल के लिए अलग अलग प्रोग्राम इनके बनाइए ऑनलाइन बनाइए ऑफलाइन बनाइए फॉरेन एक्सपर्ट्स को जहां बुलाना है बुला करके इंडियन हमारे पास टैलेंट भी बहुत अवेलेबल है तो वो पूरा आप प्लानिंग करें और ये साल हम एक तौर पर कोच डेवलपमेंट के लिए इंडिया में एक रिवोल्यूशन लाए उसकी ये शुरुआत आज की ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग सेशन है ऐसा मैं मानूंगा बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू सो मच डीजी सर फॉर गिविंग अस इनसाइट अबाउट दिस ई लर्निंग एंड योर फ्यूचर एंबिशन सर वी ऑल देयर टू सपोर्ट यू एंड वंस अगेन आई थैंक मिस्टर अजय प्रेसिडेंट बॉक्सिंग फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया एंड मिस्टर संचेती फॉर जॉइनिंग अस नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू हैंड ओवर द कंप्लीट स्टेज टू आवर lecturer and mr gupta can take over
good evening all the participants uh, uh, please uh, note two or three things first of all when the lecture is in the progress please mute your mics some of them they were open now the second information which is very important for sai coaches and all that attendance is compulsory at the end of the <laughs> session as desired by our director general saab we have to submit the attendance to the head office so i request all the coaches that you must be present there in all the session those who will remain absent their name they will be submitted the third uh, <laughs> as our director general saab they have said it is one of the most important data which has been taken by sai during your lockdown time they have invited the best speakers it's a time for you to learn when you are there in this program you should bring your notebooks also so uh, note down some points and at the end of each session the last 15 minutes will be devoted for your question answers you can put any query question it will be cleared and further if you have any doubt you can send by email or on a whatsapp our worthy executives directors of they have assured that any question query comes it must be answered in a well manner so it is my request to all the participant coaches that at the end of a seminar there will be a uh, some sort of examination type in which you will be evaluated evaluation is one of the most important aspects in the field of coaching any year you are training you are evaluated so at the end of the course it in that how much you have learned from this course and where we have to go in the future with these words i thank you all and request mr santiago nivia to carry out today's lecture mr santiago nivia okay welcome everybody for this uh, online uh, education for uh, boxing coaches um, we have we have a um, uh, program good program for a um, uh, full month um of 30 sessions we'll have uh, five sessions per week this week we will have uh, two sessions today and tomorrow from 4 to 5 uh, pm and um, from next week on uh, we will have monday tuesday wednesday 4 to 5 and then uh, Friday and Saturday, uh, 4 to 5 p.m. Uh, first session today, we're going to speak about the uh, boxing technique. Um, okay, we're uh, going to speak about the um, uh, boxing technique. We're going to look a little bit at uh, term terminology. Then I will try to do some demonstrations. I have some prepared some video. Let's hope we, we can deal good with the technique. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing I will do is try to get this slide on. Let's see. So I hope everybody can see it. Um, so when we speak about boxing, boxing technique, if we, if we put a definition into it, what is the technique? Uh, we can say that technique may be considered as the specific manner of performing a physical exercise. What does it mean? It means that the way we punch, the way we move, the way we, we defend, uh, has a technical aspect into it, which is uh, very important for it to be uh, efficient. Uh, first thing I, I would uh, like to stress that if possible, if you look at this not through your phones, but if you have a laptop or an iPad or something with a bigger screen, otherwise um, it might be difficult in, in, in the phone to see because the screen will be very small. Uh, the technique follows uh, a model which is what most people would say um, is generally accepted of a good technique. Um, so when, when enough boxers uh, throw a punch a certain way, it becomes the model to, to follow what, like the standard for what is a perfect technique. Um, for it to be a good technique must be biomechanically sound and physiologically efficient, means that we should not waste unnecessary energy when we punch. If I throw a straight punch, I cannot punch like this, but it has to go in a straight line with, with the, the muscles working in the same direction as the punch, etc. Bio, biomechanically sound and physiologically efficient. Uh, 
good technique is the same as high efficiency. Um, mm -hmm. If we can score, if we can land, if we can land hard punches, fast, fast and hard, then it would be a, a good technique. Um, there is no rule about the technique. We don't get extra points generally for, for better technique, but it helps us to, to uh, develop our tactics and, uh, and beat our opponent. Uh, the technique should not be confused with the style. The style is the, the individual representation of the technique. So I can teach the same technique for 50 boxers. You have to punch like this. And their individual uh, interpretation of, uh, of this technique will become their style. Um, and the technique of a champion is not always the, the model to follow. Sometimes you have uh, some champion who has, he has become champion, he or she has become champion despite having uh, some technical flaws. So you cannot just look at a champion or, or try to copy um, because uh, maybe it suits for that boxer, but it doesn't uh, su suit us. The first thing uh, that we, 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 we start is the boxing stance. The first thing that we have to look at and already here, there are differences. Um, <clears throat> this depends on many factors. Uh, our, our height, our distance to the opponent, etc. Our preferences, uh, we will look at that. Uh, after the stance, we will look at the footwork. We will look at um, different type of steps, the most common in, uh, in boxing. This, the terminology might be slightly different what uh, most of you have learned through NIS, but it's more or less the same, we have discussed this. Um, but the normal steps or plain steps, the pivots or side steps when, when I do a circular movement, uh, rotate, uh, pendulum steps and diagonal steps we're going to look at. We're going to look at jumps as well, we can include. Uh, the punches, uh, same here. In, in different boxing cultures, in different countries, in different languages, you have a different definition of, of uh, the punches. But uh, I think it's easy to say we have three types of punches, straight uh, punches, uppercuts and hooks. You can throw with the left, you can throw with the right, you can throw to the head, you can throw to the body. So that gives us 12 variations. Uh, we look at the combination of punches when, when we combine the different punches. And very important in boxing, punching in movement because uh, we are constantly in movement and our opponent as well. So we have to teach um, how to move and punch. Uh, here we can see on a chart the th uh, three different punches, straights, uppercuts and hooks, with the left, with the right, to the head and to the body gives us 12 variations. And then you have other variations as well. But this way we can, we can make it simple to, to teach. It's more difficult if we tell the boxer, okay, we have 72 different type of punches. This way, I think it's easier for, uh, to, to learn. There are three punches with the left and with the right, to the head and to the body gives us 12 variations. This is the most common system used in the world. Um, <clears throat> apart from the punches, of course, we have the defenses after every punch. We, we teach the defense against that punch. Uh, same thing here, different uh, terminology, but basically three defenses with the feet. I'm stepping back, I'm going to the side, I'm pivoting with the hands and arms. I'm, I'm catching and blocking or parrying. Uh, or with the trunk or upper body, slipping to the sides, ducking under or swaying back. Here you will see the chart of the um, defenses, uh, three different with the feet, with the hands and arms, with the trunk or upper body, uh, playing steps back, left, uh, left and right, pivots, clockwise and anti-clockwise, or we used to say to the left or to the right, etc. cetera. <laughs> uh, gives us a, a good picture to understand uh, what are the most uh, common uh, defenses. After defense, I will try to counter if possible, uh, and we can select two different types of uh, counter punches. In the picture, you can see a direct counter. Opponent is, is uh, punching, and at the same time as I do my defense, I am um, countering. And the second one, which we can call a counter attack, is I first do the defense and then come back with the, um, 
mm -hmm. the counter attack. I, I slip a punch and a counter, I sway back and a counter, etc. The distances uh, is uh, also a tactical priority, which distance I want to fight, and um, the technique will change uh, of the punches, of the defense, um, of the stance, will change depending on the distance I have to the opponent. And the same thing here, but the most common is to, to use three distances, long distance when I am one or more steps away from my opponent, means that if I, if I punch, I cannot reach, I must step forward. Uh, medium distance, I can punch, I can connect with any punch without moving my feet. And the short distance, like in this picture, there is physical contact between and there is short room for punching. Uh, different type of feints have also a uh, technique with the arms, with the upper body, sometimes with the eyes uh, or with the, uh, with the feet. Um, <clears throat> We, we will, this is, has a lot to do with the more to do with tactics, but it has its um, uh, technique as well. Training methods for um, technical training, same here, we have different terminology, but without gloves, if we work on some technical elements, usually we call it uh, school boxing. Uh, if we work a little more freely, shadow boxing. Uh, if we stand in front of a mirror, we can call it mirror boxing. But uh, school boxing or, or shadow boxing is, is very much used to, to work on the technique without, without any gloves and I work on the technical move, movement. With gloves, uh, with a partner, uh, <coughs> I can work on technique and here very, it's very much mixed of course, the, the, the technique and the, and the tactics. Uh, but school fight in a, in a low intensity, some, uh, my opponent throws a jab, I slip and I counter, I work on a technical element, you can do it in controlled sparring and even in, in free sparring. Uh, okay, so now you can see me. I will, I will back off a little bit. Um, Ima, if you can... You can, you can uh, okay. I hope you can hear me from here. We're going to look uh, at these uh, different elements and we're going to start with the stance for a right-handed boxer, normally with the left foot and left hand forward and normally for a left-handed they do the opposite. For most boxers they want their strong hand as a, as a rear hand. Is better? No. I want my strong hand as a re uh, rear hand but there are many right-handed that have switched to southpaw. Sometimes they have a very good lead hand. Um, okay, talking about the basics. You um, should have show the way to, to go into a proper uh, boxing stance. You say also on guard position, which is very, very common as well. I used to say boxing stance. There are many, many ways to do this, but one simple way is just having the feet parallel to uh, parallel feet and taking one step forward, uh, turning a little bit sideways to have better protection, having the body weight on the balls of the feet, the heel of, of the right foot can be a little bit off the, the floor, uh, the, the left foot can be full on the floor but the body weight should be on, on, the, on the ball of the foot. I slightly bend my knees a little bit, I have my, my, my left shoulder Going forward, I close my right fist, I put it against the chin, elbow back into the body and down with the chin. I close my left hand and put it parallel to protect the other side and try to see, you used to say, see through the eyebrows. Uh, already, when I'm going into uh, stance or on guard position, uh, I am basically I am limiting myself. So my stance will depend a lot on my, my preferences. Uh, maybe many coaches, they do emphasis on high uh, left shoulder to protect better. I prefer low, low shoulders, hands up, because this will give me more freedom to, to go faster with my punches instead of going here 
very tight, it means it becomes slower. Um, so, so, like I said, different preferences, but if we look at the best boxers in the world, most of them, they're very loose here, and they're strong from down. Um, okay, uh, the distance the same. Uh, I used to say, should be able to draw a line between both feet, uh, but th there are there are boxers who stand on one line as well. If I stand on one line, uh, probably I have good judgment forward backward, but I will have most probably little difficulty to side to side, especially to my left. Uh, that's why you to say should be able to draw a line there, should be able to draw a line here, not to be too close. If I am maybe a short and maybe a, a muscular boxer, maybe I like to be a little more square here. The same here, maybe good advantage here, but maybe not so good advantage uh, at least backwards. Um, again, sometimes it depends. Some things we, we have to say, this is white and this is black, but there is a big gray area in between. And many times it, it, the answer is it depends. And many times uh, it depends on uh, individual uh, preferences. Um, but <clears throat> there is no, um, no one size fits all. But if I have 50 boxers and uh, uh, I need to teach them the stance, I cannot go individually and teach 50 different stances. So a generally accepted stance, like, a, like I said, good that I have good balance, a strong position to punch and to move in any direction and defend against any, any punches. This is the, the important. Um, if I shift my body weight a little bit backwards, maybe look, have good control back, but maybe more difficult to over fast forward. If I go here too much forward, maybe I will be very strong on the inside, but probably we have a difficult uh, from outside and so on. Um, okay, the uh, boxing stance. Okay, we leave we, we leave the stance there uh, for now. I don't. I say it's not possible to measure in, in centimeters exactly how many degrees, how many degrees should be the hand from the nose. You have to be in a comfortable position. Here, I am loose. I can both extend my, my left here and the tight from my go out here. But depending on my height and, and uh, other factors, it will depend on, on whatever this does. I say the feet forward a little bit, here, the feet here, not completely to the side, because it will be more difficult to punch. But here, here, it's okay, here, here, it's okay. The more I lock my foot here, the less movement I will have to, to my left, unless I'm very flexible at least. Um, okay, let's go with the, with the steps. The normal steps or plain steps, we used to say in, in Spanish, Paso Plano. Um, the first one we teach, I go forward, I go backward, maintaining my stance all the time. So every step is as long with the left as with the right for the back to the stance. If I take a long step and a short step with the right, a long left and a short step to the right, I will not be able to maintain my stance. Uh, what is important here when we teach the steps uh, is that <clears throat> It's not just a step, it's a boxing movement. You need to actively push. When I go forward, the rear, rear foot pushes me, pushes me forward. And here is a little slippery, but I, I'll be sure here. I need to push forward, push backward, push forward, push backward. I have seen in so many countries when people teach this, and there is not much react, not much connection to what is happening in the ring. So the, the kids. They, yes, they are taking steps forward, but these will not help them in the ring. 
I need to have an active movement. Boom, boom. Strong legs, boom. Try to move quickly. It's very, very important. Um, and then, if I take more than one step, normally the first step is long and the second step is short. So long and second step, I should be able to just to find the range to come with the, the second step. Uh, with the plain steps also, you can go to this oblique angle, diagonally over to the left and diagonally backwards to the right here, because boxing is not linear. You're moving also around one opponent, so I move here and I move here, as well as forward, backward and to the side. Not in this direction, because to move in this direction, I have to cross my feet. There we have to take diagonal steps. We look at the diagonal steps uh, later on. Uh, okay, uh, I said it's not linear steps, so we have also the pivots, clockwise here, or anti-clockwise, or to the left, or to the right, we need to say. Um, when I do a quarter of a turn on the lean foot, boom. Um, and this usually we combine with the, the plain steps. I can I think, take one to the side here or go in here, for example. Um, but basics, I turn, boom, on the ball of the foot to the left or to the right. And the majority of the movements inside the boxing ring is a combination of plain steps with small boom, pivots to one side or to the other. Um, the other. The other steps, the pendulum steps, are small steps backward, forward, maybe side to side, or small jumps here. On the, on the spot or a little bit backward, uh, forward, backward, um, or just no steps at all, just shifting the body weight from one foot to the other, uh, depending on, on the boxer. Um, very good, very good for fainting. Very, sometimes the fast boxers, they prefer to be up on their toes so they can move, move freely and, and fast. Um, while other boxers prefer more contact with the ground to be able to generate more power in the punches. Um, and this can shift during the bout as well, maybe in the first round. When I'm fresh, I start here, and in the third round, I have to come down because it's very much um, effort here on, on my, my calves, so I have to, to come down. Um, <clears throat> Again, depends. It's not the same uh, 48 kilo as a, a super heavyweight. Uh, but generally, you can say there is a difference. If you look how boxing looked before, there were in amateur boxing there were more stand up and higher. The center of gravity was higher. If you would, I don't know if you take the 200 best boxers in the world, I, I, I think you can say the center of gravity is lower today than it was um, maybe 30 years ago. Um, and the other, the other steps, I said the uh, diagonal steps. With the diagonal steps, I go away from my boxing stance and I cross my feet here forward or backward. Normally, with punch, uh, which are from the side. Sometimes my opponent is moving around and I cannot reach here, so I need to surprise, attack forward. All my opponent rushes. I'm yeah. going to backward. See? Yeah. Opponent rushes here and I move fast backward with diagonal steps, sometimes half diagonal. So diagonal, it becomes very fast. I need to cross here. Boom. If I am fast, I will not cross. I will just but it's follow the same pattern. And when I throw the left, I move the left foot long. For short, and when I move the right, I move the right foot, and then back to, to the on guard position. Um, so these four steps are the most uh, most common. Let me get all the, the basics. Um, the diagonal steps at the, the early level are very good for coordination exercises, um, but it's a little dangerous 
especially when I lose control of my opponent and I rush forward here, it's very easy to, to be, be hit in off balance. Um, so I would say at the ability careful. At the higher level boxer who, who can, who can ma manage this, it can be a very good tool to, to surprise your opponent. Until you get tired, I would say, because then you try to, to rush in and you also you should be able to do that. Two minutes more. Hey, I have a lot, a lot of left. I have one more class of the bicycle. Okay. Um, okay, uh, let's go to the punches. Uh, straight punches. From the, from the side. First, we're going to speak of the punches without the um, movement and then with movement. Because all the punches, I have to be able to punch without moving my feet. Because maybe if my opponent is here, I cannot go further. So I have to be able to generate power boom, without moving my feet. So the jab from the, from the stance, boom, I push a little bit forward here. My, my rear leg pushes me a little bit forward without losing balance, of course. Here, hook and back, hook and back. Right hand doesn't do anything, just keeps in place and protects. Boom. Uh, this way, I, I generate the power. Um, if I want more power sometimes and reach longer, of course, boom. I can take half a step or oh, full step forward. Boom, I have possibility, I step in with the jab. Uh, what I don't like, which I, I see very common in, maybe in some uh, boxing punchers, is that when they jab, they move up the heel. Like this. Um, this I, if I have to throw the one two, if I do this and then have to throw the one two, I will be much slower. It will take too much time. So this is totally ineffective. Also, if my opponent counters here, I'm very much exposed. So here, I have much better control and I will come much better for the right hand. Um, <clears throat> okay, jab to, to the head, to the body, boom. Same, but I bend my knees a little bit and I move my upper body away from the center line. Look here and slightly, slightly little downward. Don't do that. Get them in the stomach. Um, <clears throat> Right hand, our power punch. The straight right hand is the, the punch which before with the scoring system scored most uh, points. Also the, the one which the score most power, knockout, etc. Um, so here I have long leverage, much more than, than the jab. I can use my full, uh, full body on the punch. I can move it with the body weight on my uh, left side, and then from there, back to the stance. Um, I push from the ground, here, foot, knee, boom, hips, and upper body forward, shoulder comes forward, and then back. Left arm goes back, protects, boom, and then pass back to the stance. Um, and I'll aim too long, if I, go too long, I will lose my balance, I will not be able to go back. And if I stay here, I'm not using my full, full body to, to, to score with more power and, and reach longer. Here is also, depending on my style, depending on um, my preferences, maybe, maybe I'm not interested in, in going on in with full power because my, my opponent is a little dangerous, so I just want to Touch and go, score and go. So then I don't cut over here. Boom. But if I want to punch with power, then um, I'll shift my body weight a little bit more to the front leg. Uh, right to the body, same as in the left, I will boom. come over with the body weight to the left leg and moving away. From the center line, boom. and being in a strong position, boom. Here, or for example, uh, the left foot. Um, I don't like this 
here because yes, maybe I will protect the punch cam here, but the component changes and here it's very dangerous. So from this position to and better position to for the hook. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so uh, straight punches. Mm, we go with the uppercuts. Uh, same here. Um, where, where I come from, we go first with the straight, then uppercut, and, and uh, then the hooks. In many countries, we teach the hooks before the uppercuts. I don't know if, how important it is, but we go with the uppercuts. Uh, uppercut, left uppercut to the face. Boom, slightly. Boom. Shift the body weight a little bit to, to the left leg to get some power, and from here, boom, straight up here. Boom, to the chin here. Um, so I have to go down a little bit to get the punch up. Otherwise, I have to punch here, which I can do. But we say that is a variation of, of the left up. Uh, left up to the body. Very, very effective punch. Goes to the right side of the body uh, where we have the liver, which is the, the biggest internal organ. And everybody who has Receive the punch here, knows what I'm talking about, very effective. And <clears throat> same, same thing here, Ooh. but I threw it in an oblique, oblique angle, 45 degrees up, upward, try to get to, to the liver. Keep up, very short. Try to not go too, too close. And if you stay, if you stay there, open up your arms a little bit. So, or, or you, you, you cross there. So if I am in, in this position here, boom, upward, oblique upward, 45 degrees. Do you see me from there? So here, bam. Or if I attack, you don't do anything. I keep my, my hands there, boom, there I go here. Important here, boom, shoot from the hips, extend the leg. Here, not here, not here, bam. Uh, and contrary, I will show a couple of videos after because there is also a big confusion. Many, when many teach that you have to shift the body weight to the rear leg when you throw the uppercut, uh, and 99% of what is happening in, in the bout, uh, either you go, you can go back to the middle, but mostly, oh, you keep the body weight for this hands. But here, you don't, I don't want to go back in the line of fire where you hit me, hit me again. So, and here, bam, I will throw, trying to, to get to, to the middle. I can also aim for the solar plexus, which is another vulnerable point. But it will be, like if it's open here, it's longer to that side. This is, plank is totally open. If he has his arm there, then of course, I can aim here. But most probably, I will throw the hook around his arm without going on the back side to the kidneys and try to reach the liver. Thank you. Um, right uh, uppercut to the face. Boom. From, the, from the stand, the same thing there. I, I get, get the force Boom. from the ground to the stand. And here, the, the upper body can go slightly backward. So I need room to go still, otherwise I'm disturbing. I'm not getting through. So the upper body can go slightly backwards to make room for the punch, to make room to extend the hips and, and the legs. Uh, right up, up again to, to the body. Same, same thing here, a couple of different variations, but oblique here, 45 degrees. You see the difference between the uppercuts and the hooks? Uh, and here at 45 degrees. So this is uppercut, this is uppercut, this you can see, say uppercut, and when we come here, we come to the hooks. Um, same thing here, if I want to go in with full power and maybe continue working on the inside, I will shift my body weight, my left leg. If I have to be more careful and going fast back, I will not boom, come over as fast, but we're going back to the stats. This punch uh, is 
one of the most, probably the most important for the South Pole boxer. Because the liver is still on the right side. So if I throw my, my lead hook, my lead uppercut, it goes on, on the other side, but I want to go to, to the liver. So from here, boom, 45 degrees here, you just step. I get this guard up and then I smash in the uppercut. You will see. 90% of the Cuban South Pole, the Kazakh South Pole, Russian South Pole are very good Ooh, with this punch. Um, okay, hooks. Uh, left hook, also another top uh, punch. Left hook to the head, here, bam. Or here, where I boom, turn my palm, the palm of my hand inside through with the, with the thumb up. Uh, there's a big debate, has always been, which, which one is the correct one, this one or this one? One minute, okay, we, we'll end there. Um, I will answer the, the, the question. Um, both, I would say, both are correct, but if you look for power, boom, this one is more powerful because I connect more with the biceps. You can see here, biceps is, is contracted. Here, it's not contracted, it's loose. So I have more, um, more muscles in the direction of the punch. So if we look for, for uh, power, boom, the, the, this. And you can put the kids on the, on the bag and you tell them to punch like this. And when you go away three minutes and when you come back, boom, they're probably punching like this. Um, but I will tell you the, the other side of the story next time. What is the advantage of this? Uh, now I request our worthy executive director VFI, Mr. R.K. Skethi, to address the participants. Skethi, sir. Actually, I thank you all. Okay, thank you. We continue thank tomorrow. You.